You are about to use one of the world's most advanced backpack vacuum cleaners, the PackVac. It's been designed to be the most comfortable, safest machine you've ever used. Now, with the PackVac productivity system, you'll get through your shift more comfortably, faster and easier than ever before. And do the job right, from the first to the last square meter. In the next few minutes, you'll discover how to make using a backpack vac a breeze. No more sore necks and shoulders, strained stomach muscles or aching arms at the end of your shift. In the commercial cleaning industry, the pack vac is known as the productivity machine because of its design, its ease of use and its comfort. From the ergonomically designed harness and frame to the unique filtration system that keeps up a consistent and powerful airflow. Special tools mean you'll never have to bend over again. This is the machine that will make your life on the job so much easier. After watching this video, you'll clean better and faster than ever before. No more bending over the wand. You won't need to backtrack. You'll have fewer bag emptyings, no disconnections. And no need to manually switch the head over for carpets to hard floors will make your shift fly. Wow, someone's finally made a backpack that fits you comfortably. And that makes vacuuming hard floors and carpets in confined spaces easier, not harder. And wow, W-O-W -W is the secret. Now let's take a break while your instructor talks with you about how you clean and some of the problems you might have had with using backpacks and other types of units. Wow, W-O-W. Wear right. Operate right, work right. That's all there is to it. And the first part of WOW is wear right. Adjust the body band and shoulder straps to make yourself as comfortable as possible. You should feel that when the pack vac is correctly adjusted, it is part of you and that you are a part of the unit so that everything moves together. The more comfortable you are, the less strain on your back and arms the less tired you'll be at the end of your shift. Wear right in just eight easy steps. 1. Ensure the hose is connected to the clear dome lid with the outlet on the same side as your vacuuming arm. 2. Loosen off the shoulder straps so that about 10 centimeters remain. 3. Lift the machine with one hand while sliding the other arm through one of the straps. Then put the other arm through the remaining strap. 4. Let the machine settle into the small of your back, just above your backside. 5. Tighten the waist straps until they're secure and comfortable. 6. Pull down on both the remaining ends of the shoulder straps until you can feel that almost all of the weight of the machine, 95%, is being carried by the waistband. 7. Further adjust the shoulder straps for comfort. You should be able to easily insert a finger between each strap and your shoulder. 8. Then tighten the waistband if necessary. Backpack vacs are just that. Backpacks. So they must be used correctly to minimize strain on your back. Bad posture plus bad cleaning action means a bad back. And a vacuum cleaner isn't a broom, so the head shouldn't be used like one. The pack vac with its high airflow and glide across the floor wheeled tools means the airflow does the work. The specially designed Pro Flow tools actually glide with minimum effort while you walk around the job in an easy and comfortable upright position. No more bending over. With Pro Flow tools, you don't need to have to adjust the head to move from hard floor to carpet. Bending over and pushing the wand head into the floor to get a better clean simply doesn't work. Why? because pushing the head down and hard into the floor actually reduces the airflow and results in worse, not better cleaning, and the carpet gets flattened as well. Let's take a break while your instructor goes through the wear right sequence again. W-O-W. -W. The O stands for operate right. Here's how to vacuum a floor easier, faster and cleaner with less back strain in six easy steps. 1. Stand upright, with the hand grip section of the wand parallel to the floor. It should be at a comfortable arm's length. One hand only on the wand. 2. 
move forward and away from the power point. 3. Use easy underarm swinging motions when detail cleaning and short stabs or dabs when spot cleaning. Always standing upright. Note, if you're bending over or using two hands on the wand, you're not working correctly and the load on your spine increases from 50 kilograms in the most comfortable position to 150 kilograms in the worst bending over position. 4. Once the end of the lead has been reached and work completed, return to the power point along the lead line. 5. Disconnect the lead from the power point. If the work is not finished, Unplug the lead from the power point, then wind the cable lead from the backpack towards the end of the lead. This reduces likelihood of cable twists, fractures and knots. If the work is finished, remove the backpack by sliding the left strap off the shoulder while raising the right arm shoulder to hold the strap in place. Slowly lower the right shoulder and lower the unit to the floor. Do not drop the unit. 6. Move to the next power point or area and repeat. OK, let's stop for a moment while your instructor runs through the sequence again. Now for the last W, work right, using the pack fac fishbone method. How you move around the work area within the length of the power lead can greatly affect your comfort and productivity. Using a backpack, you can cover more floor area, get into difficult places easier and faster than floor vacs and finish the job with less stress and strain if you work by these simple rules. First, look for the layout. Step 1. Find the most easily located power point. This is your starting point, at the fish's head. Your finishing point is the tail. Step 2. Check and remember the hard floor and the carpeted areas and where they are on the fish bone. Step 3. Check the room layout, position of desks, tables, chairs, fittings, etc. Step 4. Check the condition of the floor, how dirty it is on a scale of 1 to 10. Next, plan the process. Step 1. See in your mind the fishbone or fish bones over the entire area or room to be cleaned. Step 2. Decide which areas are to be detail cleaned, the backbone, or spot cleaned, the ribs. Finally, go for it. Step A. Work away from the power point. Step B. Work outwards one side of the fishbone from head to tail to the full extent of the lead, then back the other side from tail to head towards the power point. Step C. Work to the plan. Long strokes for the detail clean area and short stabs or dabs for the spot cleans. And that's it. Now, take a minute or two to go through the fishbone method with your instructor again. Wow! Wear right. Operate right. Work right. That's all there is to it. That's the PacVac productivity system. PacVac Proprietary Limited, proudly exporting Australian experience and technology all over the world. The PacVac Productivity System, components, documentation and graphics are the exclusive intellectual and commercial property of PacVac Proprietary Limited and may not be reproduced in whole or in part anywhere in the world without the express written permission of the directors of the company.